The female passenger of this motorcycle still on the ground being treated for serious injuries. Her husband, the driver, on his way to hospital. Constable Chris Neen. It seems that the, uh, the black Jeep that you see behind me uh, didn't stop in time for the motorcycle that was in front of it as it approached the, the lights at, at Cooper and Harvey. This man was driving the van that was struck by the motorcycle. That guy, yeah, the guy was in a bad condition. He was no breathing. And then he wasn't breathing? Yeah. There were several witnesses to the crash, including Dan Johnson. I saw the, uh, the black truck come screaming in and kind of didn't stop, went right into the motorcycle and then into the van. The victim's son showed up at the scene. Oh, I just want to go see my friends. As the woman is taken to hospital, RCMP learned they're dealing with the first fatal involving a motorcycle this season. This is the first one of the season. Here we are the first day of spring. Motorcycles are on the road and uh, every driver on the road needs to be aware that motorcycles are out there now. I'll start looking for them. As police continue their investigation, more witnesses come forward. Some saying they witnessed the driver of the SUV that hit the motorcycle talking on his cell phone. It's the second motorcycle crash in the central Okanagan in as many days. On Monday, a Vernon man escaped with his life after crashing his bike into an SUV on Glenmore Road in Lake Country. He was prohibited and trying to evade police. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.